the garden's kind of over, but not quite. We've got a beautiful day today, so I thought I'd get out here and plant some garlic bulbs. My neighbor grew garlic this year in her front yard, and I was walking by envying it the whole summer, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm looking up how in the world to grow garlic. I looked at some Toronto sites, like local sites, like you wanna look at something that says how to grow in your area. Um, and it looks pretty simple. I mean, split apart the garlic bulbs into the cloves, plant them point up. Anyways, it looks like it's gonna work. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go dig a hole in the backyard and plant some garlic. These are the bean poles that I took down just yesterday, closed for the season. So I think I'm gonna plant this garlic in the same spot that I had the beets and turnips and carrots this year. And I'm gonna use this nice soil that we have here to try to grow this garlic. All right, you wanna help mommy? Can you say yes? Yes. Okay, here's your little shovel. Garlic is a bulb. It's uh, something that you have to plant in the fall, like right now, in order for it to come up in the spring. Okay, so they say they should be about six inches apart. So I'm gonna do three rows here. I'm gonna use this as a guide. So we have nice straight lines. And I'm just gonna dig holes. They say three inches deep is good, but I'm gonna put them a little bit deeper because we have squirrels and squirrels eat all my bulbs. And Griffin, you're doing a great job of helping Mama. This is a really fun thing for kids to do, like dig holes in dirt. Are you kidding me? What kid wouldn't like that, right? So this is a really pretty variety I've got here. It's called Mennonite garlic. So I've split the bulbs apart already to give us these nice big fat cloves. Can you put one of these in? And put it in the hole. Very good. I'm just gonna make sure that that's point side up. And then we're gonna fill it in. Do you wanna help mom fill the hole in? The majority of the garlic that you're gonna find in the grocery stores right now is from China. I'm always looking to get as much garlic as I can from the Ontario and Toronto farmers markets that's grown organically. Um, and then I try to keep it all winter long. But here's the next best step too, growing my own garlic. Can you go get the big pitchfork over there and play with that for a second? <laughs> How many parents tell the kids that? Go play with the pitchfork. And I'm just gonna put my sign in so I know that these are the garlic. Good boy. There you go. This should probably start peeking through in the spring when the chives do. Late July, early August is when they say you should pick your garlic, so. Beautiful. Very good, sweetie. Here we are. The garden's done for the year. I'm a little bit sad, but uh, it was an amazing experience and adventure. We started with putting some soil down, the organic compost. Yay! Ew, this is gross. Oh, that is not pleasant. And now here we are back down to the soil again. I didn't know anything when I first started gardening. And now I'm getting there. I mean, I still don't know everything. I still have a lot to learn, but it's so fun. Little, little eggplants. Look at the size of that. Wow, I didn't expect these beans to get this big. This arugula turned out beautiful and I love it. I made a rainbow, so pretty. Oh, look at that. Here's a gorgeous black crim tomato. These are the good ones that make good for like tomato sandwiches and stuff like that. And some things were a hit and some things were a miss. This is crazy bolting action. Broccoli, yeah, see ya. No more broccoli, I'm ripping this shit out. Bah. These are trees. This is not spinach, I can't eat this. They just got like long. There's no beet on that. Potatoes? Some things didn't grow as great as I wanted them to, but I'm learning, so that's really great. And I met some really awesome people this year. Some people that I'll probably keep in touch with for a very long time. Rodney! <laughs> I'm just in it for the money and the bags. Here, Nana, here's your spoon. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Oh, these are my grasshoppers. Do grasshoppers eat onions? No, I they eat grass. Sure. Oh, yeah. You have to get it. That has to be hard. There you oh, go. Oh, see it is. The size, size of my arm. arm. 
This feels very sexy. Like something about this going inside. <laughs> I feel dirty here a little bit, eh? Okay. You gotta go faster too, because I'm kicking Oh my gosh, okay. This looks like a crime scene here. We've yeah, got yeah. blood all over No, it wasn't hands. me. It wasn't, it wasn't me. And this guy certainly enjoyed it, eh, sweetie? It's such a fun thing to do with your kids, too. Will you eat this? <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> He's demolishing it. Yes. <laughs> Now that I'm learning all these tips from other people especially, I already can't wait to do this again next year. Like I'm lying awake in bed at night wondering and thinking where I'm going to plant everything next year and drawing out little plots in my mind. Trips to the grocery store were very few and far between this whole summer. I grew and ate everything from my backyard. It's really important for me, for my kids growing up, going to learn where their food comes from. Oh, thank you, honey. This garden has been quite an adventure this summer. I mean, just doing this project has really sparked some new life into me. Bottom line is things are gonna taste better if you grow them yourself. Having a garden, you know I'm gonna do this the rest of my life.